Critical raw materials. We use them to reduce harmful emissions and to develop advanced technologies like smartphones. Thanks to these materials, we can power the vehicles of tomorrow. They are essential to support the transition of our society. But the resources of our planet are limited and we can't just keep mindlessly mining them. But here's the good news. Did you know these metals are endlessly recyclable without losing any of their properties? So what lacks underground, we have plenty at home. Because we can reuse the materials from our old devices to make new ones. Recycling not only helps the environment, but also ensures the circular economy. There's just a big hiccup. Transporting waste products, such as end-of-life electronic devices, across borders is a challenge due to the different rules and regulations. Before a shipment can take place, we need an authorization from the prospective states of export, import and transit, a copy of the financial guarantee, a signature of the carrier, environmental permits, a detailed route description, and so on and so on. And if that's not enough, with one minor change, the procedure has to start all over again. This needs to improve, and fast, because our planet needs us. So, let's make it sustainable. How? With a unified policy to streamline the shipping and reduce paperwork. We can then apply automatic consent for shipments destined to certified high-quality recycling plants, especially when just in transit. Take a more determined stance on the export of waste containing critical raw materials to reach recycling targets. Implement a digital platform and simplified calculations of financial guarantees. Make these tools mandatory for everyone involved. If we can get every nation on board, more critical raw materials can be recovered. Let's close the recycling loop together, so today's waste can become tomorrow's resources.